Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever had a nightmare in your life? And how did you feel when you woke up? You feel shaky or relieved or you feel both? Can you imagine how a nightmare for four years? That's, that's my story. I want to tell you a little bit about my story. I grew up in Cambodia and Cambodia is next door to Thailand, Vietnam and Laos. And I grew up in Vandenbong, it's right here. And when I was in college, the communists took over the country. My college was in Phnom Penh, that's far away from home. As soon as they invade the country, they evacuate people right away from the city all over the country. So I was pushed to move away from the city after a long, miserable walk and a few of moving, I end up in this camp that was guarded by armed soldiers. We were guarded 24 hours a day and we were forced to work. Unbelievable long hour and hard work in the rice field from, from 4 a.m. all the way until night time. And during the day, we received a little portion of food and the tasteless uh, soup that we can sh had to share with four people. So with this little portion of food, it make us sick. We don't soon, a lot of us start to get sick. And me too, I start to get sick. My first illness was malaria, and then typhoid, and then swelling all over the body, and then emaciated. I lost so much weight, and I lost my energy, and then finally I lost my sight at night. So that's the result of lack of nutrition and the lack of rest. I was exhausted. With all this condition, I had to go to work every day, seven days a week. There was no weekend. And then one day, I just cannot go anymore. And when you cannot go to work, they push you to stay in one place. It's the makeshift infirmary. So when I got to this place, I realized, oh my goodness, I should now stay here because everybody in that place was so sick and I could possibly receive more illness into my little body. And my goal is now not to get any more sickness, is to be well so that I can go and find my family. So how, how do I do? How can I get out from here? So my mind was racing and searching. And finally, I remember when I was young, like eight years old or so, mom used to read me the bedtime story. And then at nighttime, when, when she read one of these stories, I, I remember that this one story, there was one mean person who abused the children and the woman. And then God saw what happened, and he sent his angel down to rescue the children and the woman. So, from this story, I remember that there, must, there, there is God, and he knows everything. So, now that I want to live so, so desperately, and I remember God, and I believe that he still exists, and he, I start to pray to him at night. Every night I pray. And then one day I feel a little bit of energy and I start to walk, walk away from the infirmary, go to the other side where the well people stay. So as soon as I get there, one team leader, she took me in and she gave me a job to do. And she observed me when she saw me 
working hard and so on and she realized that I was so sick and then she told me you know tomorrow you go to work there there when I look at the direction I realized that's the kitchen yeah yes yeah <laughs> I was so happy and I realized right away that I made it I will survive yeah, when I get to the kitchen, I work less hour, I work in the shade, and then I get more food to eat. So I start to feel better, a little bit, a little bit at a time, and finally, I look good, and then when they saw me, they start to grab me out from there, and they push me to go to work, like everybody else. So I endure four full year in the fourth labor camp. And then that's, but I endure, I survive. And I know that the key for me to survive this situation is that because of my love for my family and my hope that one day I will be able to find my family at home. And I wrote my story in the book. It's called How I Survived the Killing Field. And this book received an award two years ago in Tampa. If all this book can do for you is to help you get through your hard time, wouldn't it be worth having a copy or two in your house? So I invite you to order the book from my website, sarahim.com. Thank you for your attention.